everyone. Hello, hello, hello. We are back. Hi. It's been a hot second. What's going on, everyone? Oh, so excited to be back. Had some nice time off, but you know, we're here. How you doing? Say hey when you're hopping on. My name is Bethany from Count Your Stitches. Uh, it's just me tonight. I know a couple weeks ago we had Delia with us. Um, but tonight is just me again. <laughs> Sorry to disappoint. I'll be right back. I got to put it on data. I think I'm back. I'm watching myself. Hello again. All right, let's get going. So we're going to do one last Easter craft. We're going to get that in before we get to the holiday this weekend. Um, so I have this adorable... Easter cutout, not cutout, what am I saying? This adorable wooden Easter hanger thing um, that we're going to use, okay? So, uh, this is from Michael's. It was, I think it was from Michael's, yeah. It's like 10 bucks, but it was 40% off or something, so I thought it was a good deal. So I'm just going to peel the tag off the back just because. Just because. All right, so again, this is what we're using tonight. Say hey when you're hopping on. My name is Bethany from Count Your Stitches. Um, we're gonna, gonna hang and make this. I'm just grabbing my little trash basket, which is really like a nuts and bolts holder from, whoops, from Harbor Freight, but that's okay. Oh, all right, let's get going. Oh my gosh, my internet tonight is horrible. I hope everybody can see me and hear me okay on online. I'm doing the squeeze diet again. So this is some cashew milk to just give me a little bit more energy because I'm finding that it's very, very, very tiring this time. Um, all right, cool. Let's get going. So my thought with this is I love this. I love this Easter round um, with the bunny and the things already, you know, attached. And it's funny because I normally don't buy crafts pre-made like this. Um, because I often find that they're more expensive. Hey, Julia. Um, I find that they're more expensive, but, uh, and like not worth the money in terms of reselling it later. However, in this case, like to, so it's cost me, I think $6. So to buy the wooden round and then all the beads and the East, the bunny cutout and all that, that would have cost me more than $6 to be honest. So, um, Hey Julia. So it's, um, much better to just get it. Um, hey, Casey. Hey, Avery. How are you? Um, thanks for watching, guys. So my plan tonight is I'm going to stain this entire thing, stain it, right, with the Waverly Antique Wax. Um, and then I'm going to paint the bunny and maybe do some dry brushing on the beads. And then I've got this burlap and I'm going to kind of create like a, a wreath effect behind it so that it kind of just makes the whole thing a little bit bigger, you know, hang it on your door and then we'll just throw a bow on it. So we're going to get to get in here. So let me, I'm just going to like bend this down. All right, cool. So I always put a thing down. I'm so, I feel so short sometimes. Um, all right, so here we go. How's everybody's weekend? Um, and how is everyone doing? So I'm just going to stain this entire thing. Um, with my antique wax, it's gonna take a little bit, so we're just gonna get going. Um, but so how was everybody's weekend? And this doesn't have to be perfect either. I'm not going for perfect with this one at all. We um, we had Delia and Emery with us the past, for a little while. Um, so we did all sorts of fun things. Oh, so um, I'm wearing a sweatshirt from the Chatham Squire. Um, I tagged them in this. Um, you know, maybe they'll maybe they'll share it or something. Who knows? <laughs> um, so the Easter Bunny, I'm gonna stain it and then I'm gonna put some white over it. I'm gonna do kind of like a an effect where we kind of dab the paint on in a thick way, um, so that it can uh, almost look 3D. So. So this, this antique wax goes a long way. So that's why I'm not putting my brush back in the antique wax yet. Uh, I'm just using whatever I can grab from here. So yeah, so last week we went down to Chatham for a day trip. Um, and we went, so the Squire is like a, a his, you know, historic place that's been there forever, I think. Oh, excuse me. Hey, oh, excuse me. Um, so Squire's been there, I think, forever. Um, 
And so we went there for lunch. It was delish. And they have like a little squire shop across the street now. It's been a couple of years, I think. Um, and so I wanted to get a t-shirt. The back says, "Take uh, meet me at the squire. Um, it's super cute. So shout out to the squire for awesome lunch last week. Um, actually, it was probably one of the best clam chowders I've ever had. Do any of you have like an absolute favorite place that you grab chowder from? Um, you know, here in Rhodey, right? It's a big, kind of a big deal around here. You got to get good chowder and you got to get white chowder. Um, are you a white chowder person or are you a red chowder person? We only do white chowder in this house. It's kind of a, kind of an unspoken Rhode Island rule, I think. Although there is something, there's the whole Rhode Island clear chowder, but I'm not really familiar with what that is. Um... But apparently it's clear chowder, which just sounds odd to me. But anywho, anywho, I always end up talking about food. And the problem right now was talking about, yes, Casey, yes, Casey, white chowder. Oh, and it's chowder, right? C-H-O-W-D-A-H, chowder. So if y'all are uh, watching from another part of the country and you want to learn how to say the word chowder, it's chowder, okay? Um, where was I going with this? But yeah, so that's that. <laughs> Oh, so I always end up talking about food during this, which is funny because I, I was just saying earlier, I was taking a sip. I'm doing the squeeze diet again because, you know, we had so we had guests, you know, we had Delia and I'm with us. Um, and the, what was I going to say? Um, oh, so when you have guests, you always kind of do like fun things. Iggy's. Oh, Iggy's is good, Casey. You are right. Um, I, I do I do enjoy Iggy's. I used to love clam cakes. I don't love clam cakes as much as I used to, but Iggy's was always good. My great grandmother used to make clam cakes, um, but she made them without clams in them, so they were just cakes, I guess. <laughs> she had this big pink bowl that she would make them in, big pink bowl, um, and she'd make her batter in that, but she never put clams in. I don't know. I assume that was intentional, um, but I'm not sure to be honest with you. Um, all right, so let's get these beads going. We, fi we finished the rest of it, so now here we go. This is going to take a little bit longer. Um, but yes, yeah, so I'm doing the squeeze diet again because, and Bob's doing that three day diet. I just can't do the three day diet anymore because I just can't handle the tuna fish. I, I try. The last time I did it, I think I near threw up from the tuna fish, so I just I can't do it anymore. Uh, I'm going to dry brush these anyway, so they don't need to be perfect, but um, so. I'm doing the squeeze diet. Bob's doing the the uh, the three day. I did the squeeze diet this time. That's it's called super squeezed. So the two snacks that you have between your meals um, have less fruit content. Actually, they have no fruit content. They are all vegetables. So it's like literally liquid celery. Um, but it's actually not half bad. Who's that? Oh, hey, Carolyn. How are you? Um, so it's actually not too too bad. Um, but God, I do miss eating. I, I know for me in terms of like weight loss and eating struggles and all of that. Yes, I love to eat. Um, and I love food, but I definitely find that my problem is, um, my problem is eating. Like I love to eat. Um, does anybody else have that problem? I mean, not that I don't love food, but I just love to eat. Like you ever find yourself, you're like, I'm not hungry, but I just want to eat. Like that's, yeah, that's me. So, you know, we're trying to, or at least me, I'm trying to, you know, Bob, you know, Bob, Bob too, because, he, you know, he's so good. Uh, we're just trying to, you know, eat a little better, get a little healthier, you know, you know. I feel like it's the struggle everybody's on, everybody's on. But, um, but yeah, I mean, the squeeze diet, today's day one, we're just doing a three because he's doing the three-day diet. Um, but, you know, it helps. It definitely helps. Kind of just recharge, cleanse, you know. You know the huge guys, right? You know. So does anybody have any lovely plans for Easter coming up? Um, I Carolyn, thanks so much. I missed you guys. Um, we had we had guests. Um, we had family with us. So you know what we did. Delia and I um, stay in. Um, stay. She was. They were here. Um, and we did one together. And then the week just got away from us, and it was busy. Um, so we just had to take a little break, you know, but now we're here and I, w I want it to be, I'm exhausted. I have to say, um, and I, you know, having doing the juice cleanse thing definitely doesn't help with your energy level. Um, which is why I'm having some of the cashew milk now just to help a little bit. Um, I didn't work out today. I did work out this weekend, both days, but, 
Um, I know, look at me, right? Working out. Although I, I found a movie on Netflix that I'm watching, and that's really the only reason I could tolerate working out was because I was watching a movie. Um, but hey, whatever works, right? Um, but yeah, so we took a little break, but I knew I wanted to come on tonight. I, you know, because even though I'm tired, I wanted to be on because I wanted to make this with you guys. I'm almost done painting these beads. I'm sorry that it's taking me so long. Um, but this project's after this is done, it's going to be relatively quick. Um, I've been just like so excited to do this bunny. Um, and I knew that I didn't want to make it. So you guys know me. I prefer, um, rustic, right? I definitely prefer rustic. Um, so I knew that I didn't want to like paint the bunny a different color or, you know, do anything like cutesy. I wanted to make it more rustic looking. So we're going to finish the stain and then, um, what is I going to say? I'm going to finish the stain and we're going to wipe it off a little. And then um, we'll, we will put a coat of white over the bunny, but it's going to be like a puffy. I don't, I don't know. I got, I'll show you what I want to do. All right. So that's just about, that's about done. We're good. We're good. Hi, mom. Hi, Delia. Happy Easter. You're cute. All right. Delia, our guest star is watching. All right. Here we go. Let's dry this up. Or right, let me... We take a quick paper towel to it. So for those of you who are just joining us, my name is Bethany from Count Your Stitches. We're back with another live. We're doing one last little Easter craft. We did a few this year. Um, how cute were those little um, rope bunnies that Delia and I made uh, a little over a week ago? Oh my gosh, love those. Those are still sitting on our window pane. All right, cool. So now that this is all stained, I'm gonna dry it real fast, okay? Make sure that when you're watching and you're hopping on, say hi, um, and whether that's now or on the replay. And also, if you want to drop some hearts or some thumbs up, thumbs up, or if you'd like to sprinkle this out on your page as well, um, that would be super appreciated. Thank you. Okay. I don't know why I think like moving it like this will actually dry it faster. I'm not sure that it will. Mom, it's so funny. All your comments are, are posting twice. Okay. So now, here we go. Although I don't mind that because then there's more comments. <laughs> it's good for my algorithm or whatever those things are, right? Mm. All right. Although I got to tell you, one week off and we, we don't have a lot of people. So funny. That's okay. That's okay. We're going to come back. We're going to come back. So I'm not going to do the bunny yet because I want the bunny to be puffy. I'm like, I'm going to kind of just like dab the paint on. So I want to do the back first that I need to glue because I don't want it to get messed up. So I will do some dry brushing of the, I'll do the dry brush first. All right, we'll do some of that. Waste not, why not? We'll reuse this, this uh, paper towel. So there we go, here we go. So I'm just gonna take, so dry brush, right? It means using a dry brush dipping it in some paint and then wiping off a ton of the paint from the brush and then just kind of spritzing it on, if you will. Spritz is not the right word, but anywho. So paint on the brush, then paper towel, take it off. And then we're just gonna go across this and just give it some paint. Now you can do as much or as little as you want. Dry brushing is, oh no, you're fine, mom, you're fine. Dry brushing is totally your preference. So see a little bit more so you can see it more. And you know, it all depends on how you hold the brush, if you press down firmly or not. Okay, there's that. I don't know, I, don't, I think I'm just gonna leave, yeah, I'm not gonna do dry brushing on anything other than the beads. Um, and I'm just gonna take a little, I just wanna, I want it to be a little bit more. Yeah, there we go, that's what I wanted. I did want there to be some, some serious white happening. Okay. So that's all I want to do. I'm going to just do it on the top of the beads just to separate them. And then the bunny is going to be that definite white. Hi, Mrs. Borges. How are you? Um, all right, cool. So we'll come back to our white. I'm going to dry this up. And then we're going to flip it over and we're going to add some burlap. I've got some big rolls of burlap. And we're going to kind of like, I, I, we're going to like kind of fold it along the back. Um, hi, Auntie Kim. Um, so we're just going to kind of fold it accordion fan style across the back, um, 
to kind of give this like a wreath effect around it. I want it to get bigger, okay? So this is what we've got so far, all right? So you can't really see the bunny right now, right? The bunny kind of blended in there, but we're gonna, I promise we'll paint the bunny in a few. Um, I just want to get the back going first, okay? Mm, of course, I just realized I forgot to put my hot glue gun on. It is what it is. Okay, cool. Uh, we're not gonna need the stain anymore, so we can rinse that brush. Trying to be better about my brushes. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Oh, so I kid you not, guys, here's a fun, so does anybody know my favorite food? I'm gonna throw that one out there real fast. Does anyone know my favorite food? Comment if you know Bethany's favorite food, and then I'll tell you something fun. Okay, let's let that heat up. So while you're trying to comment what my favorite food is, um, okay, so we're gonna flip this over. I don't know how, I don't know what I'm gonna do with this hanger. I think we're gonna put a new hanger on, yeah. I'm gonna cut this one off. I hate to, cause it's nice and stapled on. I'm torn, I'm torn, I'm torn. But we have to take it off, we have to, yeah, we have to, cause accordion style stuff's gonna go on the back. So, sorry, coming off, okay, so. My thought is, so I've got these rolls of burlap, right? And I want to just unroll it a bunch. I want to have it be like a fan. Um, so like accordion style coming off the back here. So that kind of just gives it like, like an extra wreath effect. You see what I'm saying? So I got to just figure out how I'm going to do this. I sort of planned it earlier, but I'm going to draw, I'm going to let this drop this burlap so I can unravel it. So I'm thinking I'm just going to glue it down and then I'm just going to start like gluing it on itself, like in it, like a fan around. And then that'll give us like the, that'll give us the wreath effect we're going for. So let me just get my thimble. So does anybody know what my favorite food is? I have an absolute favorite food. And I kid you not, I think I ate it four days in a row this week. Oh, you can see my lovely outfit. I should, I gotta remember not to stand up. I don't look so attractive when I stand up. Not that I look that attractive when I'm not standing up, but hey, Scott. Um, all right, cool, here we go. Got my thimble. So, let's give this a whirl. We're gonna start, you know, we're not gonna start at the top. We're gonna start at the bottom. So that way, the messy part is at the bottom. Hello. So I'm just gonna put, some glue down and let that continue to heat up. I'm thinking that will be enough overhang. Yeah, I don't want to do, I'm doing like half the burlap, okay? Um, and we're gonna just accordion fold this all the way around um, and kind of create like a fan. Um, wreath moment for this so that way I because I wanted to put this out I wanted to put this on a wreath tacos close Casey super close um I wanted to put this on a wreath you know and make like a burlap wreath and then sit this in the middle but it was just a little bit too big for the wreath forms I have so I'm like all right cool we'll kind of like create our own wreath effect you know what I'm saying so I'm just gonna keep accordion fanning this around I'm just using my thimble. All right, so it's gonna be a little, you know, it's not gonna be pretty on the back, but that's okay. Burritos, we're getting close here, people. You're in the right family. You're in the right family. I ate them, I ate them, I think, yeah, four days in a row, because we went out, we went out Thursday. Again, when you have family and guests and everybody over, chicken, broccoli, Alfredo, oh, Getting cold. Nachos! There it is, Casey. You got it. So I literally ate nachos four days in a row. And we wonder why I look this way, right? Um, oh, quesadillas are good, though. I do, you know what? Mission quesadilla, whatever's mi mission, yeah, mission tortillas or whatever, makes low-carb um, ones. So you can make low-carb quesadillas. It's awesome. Um, so we went out, yeah, we went out Thursday. We went out Friday. <laughs> we went out Saturday. <laughs> Did we go Sunday? We might have gone Sunday too. Again, just, you know, when you have family staying, you do 
Oh, love nachos. Now, okay, so I, now I have to talk about nachos because they are my favorite food. So do we love traditional nachos or do we love barbecue chicken nachos? What kind of nachos do we all like around here? My my favorite is just straight up nachos. Um, you know, nothing. I mean, I like me some fancy nachos too, but they're not necessary. Not necessary. Got to make sure that I am gluing this to to this too. All right, how's this looking so far? Let's see. Oh, that's kind of cool. Look at here's what it looks like so far. Just kind of going around. Okay. So I'm just gonna keep going around. Might need, I'm gonna need a new glue stick, which is fine. So I'm just folding this like an accordion. Gluing it down. A coworker gave me like a million of these burlap rolls, so I'm super excited about that. So we got plenty to do. That's cool. Love beef the best. Oh my gosh, yes. Traditional um, beef is my favorite too. I love ground beef. I love ground beef. Um, I'm I like chicken and pork and all of that, but I'm definitely a um, a red meat kind of gal. There's a place um, called Frontera. It's kind of all over the place. Uh, not all over the place. There's a few in this area, this side of the this side of the, like the world, I guess, um, that makes these amazing ground beef nachos. And again, like there, there's nothing to them. It's just, just chips and cheese. I was saying to Bob the other day, I'm like, there could be worse things that are my favorite, right? I mean, I love pasta, um, but I figure like nachos, the worst part are the chips. And then, you know, I... I in terms of when you're talking like carbs, right? Um, oh, me too, mom. We gotta go back. Um, but so the worst part about nachos are the chips. So who's who's out? But I just want to say, hey, Pat. Um, so you know, you you basically putting a salad on top of it. I mean, like when it really comes down to it, it's just chips with a salad on top, right? So that's all. That's all I'm saying, peeps. All I'm saying. Just getting out another glue stick. Getting it ready. Getting it ready. All right, sticking some on there, sticking some on here. I'm being super, like, not fancy about any of this. Super duper not fancy. Oh, I like the ones from Chili's. Oh, those are really good, Auntie. Kelsey got us in, or Kelsey, like, got me into those. Um, Chili's, yeah, they make their nachos, like, one chip at a time, so it's nice. One nice chip. With all the toppings beautifully enveloped in like a piece of cheese, um, like encapsulated in cheese with a nice jalapeno melted on top. Oh, mwah, to die for. Love it. Love it. Love it. Okay, let's put the new glue stick in. Come on. Okay, let's get this one glued down. We're almost there, and then we'll paint our bunny and put a bow on. But yeah, so nachos are my favorite food, and I've eaten them a lot lately. Um, and I can't eat now because we're doing this because I'm doing a diet. But that's okay. It'll be done Wednesday, and Thursday I can eat. And I've already planned our meals for Thursday and Friday. Um, like just you know, I've already boiled the eggs for egg salad on Friday. You are missing the CMAs. I know I miss, is everybody watching the CMAs? It's okay if you watch them instead of me. They're famous people. I'm not famous, so it's okay. <laughs> All right, let's see here. Let's do, let's get a bigger one here going. And I don't want to get too close together. A, we don't want to be wasteful. And B, it's just not the look we're going for. We're going for more of a fluffy look. I'm telling you, these little thimbles from the Dollar Tree or finger protectors, whatever you want to call them, they're fantastic. They protect your finger from the hot glue amazingly. All right. Wow. You can really see what I'm doing. That's great. This I pushed my phone back a little on the, the tripod we got going. Um, and I, I think I like the way it, it looks really. looks good. All right. Oh, update. We're still watching Sopranos. Love it. Oh. Okay. Oh, so those of you who missed it. My sweatshirt is from the squ the there's a restaurant in Chatham called the Squire and they have a little shop across the street from it that sells sells squire attire. Ha! 
ah, Squire Attire. They really should have named the store that. Because it's called the Squire Shop. But I, seriously, like how many things rhyme with attire and you have a, you have a moment that you could have made it the Squire Attire. Come on. Come on. Hey, this is recorded and I will post it later. So if anybody ever renames it Squire Attire, it's from me. You are famous. You have a lot of followers. Thank you, Auntie. Thank you. Oh, all right. I have to tell you, it feels so good to be doing a craft. I missed it last week. Um, I really, really missed it. Um, and I have to tell you, as much as I love crocheting, I'm spending every waking minute that I'm not at work crocheting lately. And whew. And people just keep ordering stuff. And it's fine. Aw, thanks. Thanks, Bobby. Um, but goodness gracious, I am like a crocheting little fiend. But it is fun. It is fun. All right, we're getting there. We are almost around. We are almost around. I think this is the most, actually, we used a lot of hot glue. Got some heavy, intense hot glue projects the past couple of weeks, huh? With the rope bunnies and now the, now this burlap. I'll probably put, I don't know, I'll probably put something on the back of this, whether it's cardboard or something, to kind of cover all of this. Um email them. You know, I should, Casey. I really should. All right. We are almost there, everyone. Almost there. You don't have to listen to me talk forever. <laughs> Although I guess that's the point. I'm not sure. I don't know. Wait, we're here to have fun. I miss you guys. I really miss you guys. Hey, Patty. Whew. So good to see everybody again. The Count Your Stitches fam. All right. Almost there. And we, you know, we're not using all the the roll, so that's good. God, I'm so hungry. Holy moly. Anybody who says they're not hungry on the squeeze diet is lying to you, okay? I'm just throwing that out there. They're straight up lying to you. And I've drank, I had to drink five drinks today. The, oh my God, this this is so, this little thimble. And they come in a pack. So you get a whole bunch. So it's not even just one. Um, Yeah. Oh, hey, Patty. All right. But yeah, so anybody who tells you they're not hungry on the squeeze diet is lying. Is liar, liar, pants on fire. Oh my gosh, I saw this thing on, I think it was on Facebook the other day, that said, is anybody else super disappointed when the liar's pants don't actually catch on fire? <laughs> it's so dramatic, like liar, liar, pants on fire. Like, what are we teaching our children? I mean, I guess it's a deterrent, right? <laughs> I guess it works. Well, I guess it works. I don't know. Does it work? <laughs> Who knows? Who knows? The nice thing about burlap is you can put one bead of hot glue and because it's, you know, it's porous, if you will. I don't know. Because it's, you know, comes through. Um, it, um, it, one bead like does all your layers for you. Um, speaking of other things, was on Facebook. My dad was telling me today that he saw this thing posted that said, um, um, it's Monday. I've run out of coffee and middle fingers. <laughs> oh. Now we don't post things like that on Count Your Stitches, but we can talk about them sometimes. Oh, but you know what? At least it was a beautiful Monday. Can I get a holler for that? Cause I mean, it was, it was gorgeous outside today and we're supposed to get some rain tonight, but that's okay. It was kind of a glue. Well, I, mean, I don't know. I guess the weather was nice this weekend. I don't know. Was the weather nice this weekend? I feel like I don't even notice sometimes. All right, we're going to do like two more and then we're done. Oh, really? Two more and then we're done gluing this guy. Okay. Do one here. One here. Whoops. Ooh, that bead was that bead of glue was a lot. That was very hot. That kind of came through the thimble. It was the it was lovely. The birds were at the feeders. Oh no, kidding! This is such a cool trick. Wait a minute, my trick of putting the bead of glue and then it goes through all three. I don't even know what my trick is, Casey. <laughs> Mom, did you have the yellow belly sap suckers or whatever they call? Jason Aldean and Brian Adams were singing. We're in heaven. Oh, that would have that must have been so cool, Auntie. All right, I'm going to cut this while I'm here. Last piece. So I'm going to cut it. I'll rewind that later. So we're going to do this. And then glue the last one down to make burlap into... Right? 
I don't know where I came up with it. I got to be honest. A lot of times I get my ideas from other people, but I'm going to be on, I'm going to, I'm going to back meet hand. I'm going to pat myself on the back. As Bob would say, back meat hand. I came up with this one on my own. I'm very proud of myself. So yeah, we have instant wreath. I'm just gonna glue this one down, just so it has a place to go. This is like the tail. All right. Oh, hey, on a on a just a side note. Um, yes, the song was awesome and no yellow. <laughs> um, Side note, I delivered some uh, teddy bears that I crocheted today. The ones that I, I posted the other day that had the um, girls, the initials on them. And so just, you know, throwing it out there to the Count Your Stitches fam. Just prayers for the one of the little girls that's getting that teddy bear because she's battling cancer. And childhood cancer should never, ever be a thing. So just throwing that out there to the whole Count Your Stitches fam to pray for that little, that little munchkin. Okay. Okay. We have made it. Now let's see if it actually looks okay. I'm just going to take off the glue strings because there's about a million of them. Hey, this worked. It's a little uneven and I'm going to have to do a little gluing on the bottom. But check this out. We've got ourselves a wreath without actually making a wreath. How cool is that? This is a bigger project than I usually make on these nights. How cool is that? All right, so I think what I'm going to do is got to figure out how to tuck this under. Gots to figure that out. I don't know. I'll figure. I don't know. I might even just cut it. But anywho. All right. So that's done. So now we're going to do just two more things. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, Case. Thanks so much. Um, all right. Cool. So last two things we're going to do is make a bow and do the bunny. So what we're going to do with the bunny is I want it to look uh, puffy, like furry, like a bunny. Okay. So for those of you who are just hopping on, we literally just glued burlap around the back like an accordion and made ourselves a little wreath off out of this hanger. So if you ever want to make a wreath out of just like a wooden circle that you put something on, just put some big bun, some stuff on the back and you've got yourself a wreath. So nice and simple. The back actually doesn't even look that bad. So I might not have to cover it. So we want to make this bunny look a little bit 3D. Hey, Mary. Um, and just a little bit, you know. So what we're going to do is... Whoops, take the cover off first. That's what we're going to do. I feel like you could make, oh my gosh, yes. Absolutely, Casey. That's such a, that's such a killer idea. Um, yeah, and have this be the middle, like even go a little bit bigger. You can also take burlap and cut it and fold it kind of in a triangle and then pinch the ends together. And it looks like a flower petal or something. That would be really cute to, um, to glue on the back too, like all around the whole thing. I love burlap. All right, so we're going to paint the bunny first, okay? So we're going to be very carefully paint the bunny, okay? So there's the bunny. The bunny is raised, so makes it a little easier to paint. You don't have to worry about it. I mean, you still could, um, you still could get it off the... Um, off the you know the outline but like I just did but it's okay it's okay so I'm just painting him first I'm not doing a perfect job I just want it painted that's all just want him painted and then we're gonna make it like some 3d effects ish sort of I'm not really sure I did this with I did this with something last year oh Santa Claus's beard a couple of years ago I used this technique on his beard to make it pop a little bit. So that's what we're going to do. And then I have some pink that we might use to just make his ears pop a little bit. All right, we got paint on the brush, not where I want it. There we go. Let's just get his face done. All right, how the CMA is going, everybody? Okay, so quick paint on the bunny, all right? But we're not keeping him like this. So what we're going to do is I got paint all over me. We're gonna dip this in the paint and we're gonna keep it thick, okay? And we're gonna dab. And we're just gonna kinda, so that it stays thick and that you see, um, you see the paint. 
So let me just show you. I'll probably do a little bit extra on the tail. But if you can kind of see, can you see that at all? I don't really know if you can see how thick it is that I'm putting it on. And it just creates a little bit of a raised edge. Um, thank you. So it just creates, you can see I'm not painting this on. I'm dabbing this on. And that's that's the look I'm going for. I want it to be messy and chunky and like raised. All right. Almost like you're using a stencil brush. So that it kind of looks like fur. So before we did it on Santa, trying to make it look like, you know, his, his fluffy beard. And now we're doing it on the bunny, which I'm getting it all over the place, but it is what it is. All right. I can touch it up later where I where I messed it up. All right, I'm gonna do a little bit more just to give it a little bit more texture. A little bit more up here. A little bit more on the tail. All right, so again, it's just giving it some texture so that it's not so just flat and boring. Um, all right, cool. I think that's enough. A little bit more on the tail. There we go. Yeah, a little bit more on the tail. Make that a little bushier. And up around his chest here. Yep, I will touch up where I've gone off later on. Okay. Yeah, spackle definitely would have um, been a good option for this. I actually have some of that stuff that you put in paint to do the, like a popcorn ceiling, but I left it in the car and you need a mask to do it. So I was like, you know what? We're just going to create the look ourselves. Um, but spackle would be a good one. Or um, they have like a bunch of additives for paint that you can use. So there's definitely a lot of ways to do this, um, but that's just the way I wanted to do it. So I'm going to hit it with the dryer real quick. Ooh, I got glue everywhere. Because then I'm going to put a little bit of pink up on the ears. So this is not going to dry perfectly right away, obviously, because it's kind of it's kind of thick, but it's actually doing pretty well. So while it's still a little wet, I am gonna take, I have this pale, pale pink with a paintbrush somewhere, where it is. Pale, pale pink here, okay? Um, called Cameo Pink. And I am just gonna dip my brush, tiny brush, small brush, okay? I'm gonna dip that in, uh, dry brush, and then take it off. Actually, that's not, it took up too much. And then I just wanna give his ears a little pink. Not a lot, super subtle, just to bring in a little bit of color, okay? And I'm gonna do a little bit on the nose, just a tad. And then I want to do a um, tiny bit of the stain. I'm just gonna use the same brush. Tiny bit of the stain just from the cover. And I wanna do his feet, just a little bit. Again, just a little. Just a little, I'm just gonna blend it in. Just a little on the bottom of the feet and then blend it in just so it looks a little bit more. Um, he looks a little bit more, you know, like a bunny. And I'm just gonna kinda, you know, give it some brush strokes of the antique wax, give him a little bit more texture. All right, there we go, cool. It's all in the little details, am I right? All right, cool. So there's that. So here, I'll show you where we're at right now. Okay, so there's our bunny on his wreath. And now, uh, like I said, I'll fix the white later. Now we're just gonna make a bow for him and he's gonna be all set to go. I'm not gonna have any more cashew milk tonight. All right, let's make him a bow. Put this in the, there we go. Okay, so for a bow, I've got my usual, my buffalo check plaid. Now, my only thing is I don't know where to put the bow. I don't know if I want to put it on the side, like in the co top corner. Do I want to put it on the bottom? I don't know. So that's my only, that's my only conundrum is where do we put the bow? Oh gosh, guys, we're almost, we're out of this ribbon. I love this ribbon. I bought like five skeins of it when it came to Dollar Tree last fall. Um, all right, cool. So let's get a, let's get a bow going. Let's get a bow going. Just gonna do a simple, simple bow that I like doing my little, 
a little awareness ribbon bow, but I think that's plenty. And then I'm gonna cut this. Okay, so we have this for later. Okay, so we got that. And then on that, I'm just gonna twist it so that it kind of stays in place for me. And on top of that, I wanna do a little bit of burlap. Um, these are all, these are, uh, except for the last one, they're all gonna be Dollar Tree ribbon. Um, so I guess two out of three Dollar Tree ribbons. Um, all right, cool. So yep, you just fold it like an awareness ribbon and you just put it on top. Perfect. All right, let me cut that up. And then I wanna do um, the carrot ribbon. I love the carrot ribbon. All right, so last one. Love my carrot ribbon. You know what? The carrot ribbon we're gonna tie on last and we'll cover the cover the knot with it. So, okay, cool. Let's just cut this and let's tie this bow. So we'll have a little bit of color from the ears and from the carrot ribbon, but it's mostly just, you know, our usual rustic-y, neutral, matches anything kind of moment, okay? All right, let's scrunch that so it stays, it comes together a little bit better. Come on. Um, I got this, the twine from the Dollar Tree because I finally needed a new one after like two years. Um, and it came in a three pack, which I like, like even better. Um, and I like the roll that it comes in, so I was kind of excited about it. I was kind of excited about it. All right, and we'll zhuzh it when we put it on, you know. You know. So here's the question. I don't know if, we, so I'm gonna zhuzh it just a little so I can try to figure out where to put it. Um, I may end up putting some spackle on this or putting like some of that plastery stuff I was telling you about on this bunny. I kind of want them a little bit more 3D, um, but anywho. All right, so now we just have to decide where are we putting this bow? We're putting this bow on the bottom. We're putting this bow on the side. If we put it up here, we're gonna obviously have to trim it. So here's the thought. We got we have got up here and we'll trim the tails or we can put it down here. Kind of like a traditional, more of a traditional wreath. You know what I mean? With the bow on the bottom. Um, I can't decide. What do y'all think about where we should put the bow. While you're deciding where we should put the bow, I'm just going to tie uh, tie this last piece of ribbon to put on and cover up that. So tell me what you think about where we should put the the, the bow. Should we put it on the bottom or the top, the side of the top? Bottom, cover your spot. Ain't that the truth, Patty? <laughs> oh, although I messed up at the top a little bit more, but that's okay. I'll fix that later. I can fix it later. Or else bottom. I know I'm think I'm leaning towards the bottom too, guys. I think that's a great idea. I think that is a great idea on all y'all's part. Okay. Oh, this bow is just not tying the way I want it to. Okay, there we go. There we go. It's because it only has a design on one side. So it messes everything up. You know what I'm saying? So one more time here. I think if I do this kind of tie, it does a little bit better. Although who knows? Who the heck knows? All right, hold on. Let me see if I can turn it while it's here. Like while we're in this position before we tighten it. Was that a good idea? Did that work? It worked. Okay. So just if you're working with ribbon that's only on the pattern's only on one side, before you tighten it, just kind of turn the ribbon in the loose knot the way you want it to show up once you've tightened it, okay? Trick we just learned. Trick we just learned. Excellent. Okay, I'm just gonna cut our, cut our ribbon here. I definitely don't want the tails that long, so cut our ribbon. I love this carrot ribbon. I think it's from Michael's. Yeah, I think it's from Michael's. I love it so much. Okay, let's glue that on to the bow. And then I'm gonna glue him on. So that'll cover the center there. So we got our three bows all stacked on top of each other, just letting it dry. And then we'll glue it on the bottom 
and then we can we can zhuzh and decide how we want the tails and all that funsical stuff. All right? Coolness. All right, cool. So let's get this guy going. Got paint all over me tonight. I haven't gotten a lot of paint on me in a long time. Okay. Ow, just stuck my finger in some hot glue. That is the one nice thing. Yes, I bought the same one. Oh, nice, Patty. Um, uh, yeah, isn't it awesome? The hot glue gun, it gives you time to work with it, which is nice. Um, all right, cool. I am going to kind of stand up for this to see how I need to do this. All right, hi, everybody. Uh, new angle of Bethany. Okay, cool. So we're going to stick it on, I think, right there. Yep, beautiful. Stuck my hand in the glue again. I'm going to throw some hot glue on the back, okay? Yeah, this hot glue gives you time to work with it, which is awesome. Um, but it also can burn if you're not paying attention. All right, so we're just going to glue this on. Let this settle. We're going to let this settle. I'm holding it down. I will put a hanger on the back of this too. Not Maybe not now, but I will eventually. This came out really cute. I'm a fan. Just got to figure out what I'm going to do with those spots where I totally messed it up. Okay, so definitely going to cut these on um, a little bit of an angle. Love doing that. We're going to cut this on an angle. Alrighty, and cut this on an angle. I like doing this kind of angle. And then for this, I will also cut it on an angle. One. Just going right from the corner because I liked the length. I'm just cutting it on an angle. That was kind of a curved angle, but it is what it is. Okay, now let's zhuzh this guy up a little. I probably could have made a bigger bow, but at the same time, I kind of like the littler size. I don't know, I think this works. I think this works. We don't want to zhuzh too much. All right, so let's put a hanger on it so I can hang it and show it to you. Let's grab some. Grab some, uh, you know what, no, hold on. Grab some bigger jute. I'm here, sorry. Just getting some bigger jute. And making a mess over here. All right, let's get a hanger on here. Oh, it's upside down, that's why it wasn't working. That's why it's doing this to me. Love that jute. All right, cool. So we got our jute. We're just gonna make a hanger on the back here. Can't really see where I'm going with this, but we're gonna, so this is. Yep, so this is the center. So we're just gonna hope I can do this. <laughs> we're just gonna hope and pray this works, okay? I'm just sticking the, putting it in there. I'm just putting a whole bunch of hot glue on the back and letting it do its thing. I'm gonna let that settle for a second and then I'll hold it down. Once it's a little bit better, I'll hold it down with the um, with the glue thing, the little thimble. All right. Definitely put too much on glue. That's okay though. Thing ain't gonna move. So that's what we were going for. Oh goodness, that is hot. Oh, okay, so. This is not as good when it's wicked hot. We gotta let it cool a little bit more. And then I can show you. And that'll be that. And Willow's made a really cute little, really cute little hanger. I'm kind of excited about it. I'm just gonna let that dry for another quick second. And I, while I attempt to figure out what to do with this front piece here, just wondering like, how can I, well, I gotta hide it somehow, but. I will another time. All right, cool. Let's turn this back around. Get this all. Ow, fudge a nutter. Okay, cool. So I will show you now. I can hold it up. So there's a hanger on the back now. All right. And here is our finished wreath. What do you think? We finished. This is definitely one of the bigger projects we've made on live. What do y'all think? 
So we, this hanger was already made like this. And then we just put some burlap around the back, like accordion style to make it a big old wreath. And then we just put a, we just put a thing on it, a bow on it. And boom, we got a wreath. Thank you, Patty. Thanks everybody. Thanks mom. Yeah, I'm kind of excited about this. I think it went well. <laughs> it worked. That's all I care about. Um, I, you know, I, like I said, I wanted to make a wreath out of it and we did it. Thank you, auntie. But yeah, so that's where we're at, everybody. We made ourselves a wreath. We didn't have to use a wreath form or anything. We just made ourselves a wreath. We just said, hey, have burlap. We'll travel. Am I right? So that's where we are, guys. Oh, all right. I'm going to put it down this way so we can keep drying that hot glue because I put Put too much hot glue um but anywho thank you all so much for watching i gotta go uh watch some wrestling and crochet a duck gotta get a duck done for easter um and then i'm gonna go back to making a koala bear i started that um like three quarters of the way done with that so fun stuff but anywho thanks so much for joining me this week guys it was so good to be back i missed y'all i'll be back next monday back to our regular schedule again thanks for bearing with us thanks for hanging out with delia and i last week or we can have a go. Thanks for hanging out with me tonight. Um, if you celebrate Easter, have a happy Easter. If not, have a lovely spring weekend. Um, and I will see you all next Monday. All right. Have a good night. Oh, and always remember to count your stitches. Bye, everybody.